Hello, Internet. It's Shelly. And today is, uh, what do you say? 53, day 53 of HRT. And <clears throat> this is an early morning update. It's like 6 o'clock where we are. And uh, we didn't update yesterday. We went to the... Um, coffee shop and uh, talked with our friend Cindy uh, who, uh, hey Cindy um, and just kind of pottered around the rest of the day washing clothes, washing dishes making soup um, which didn't kill us <laughs> And we did a shot. We did a, one of these shots with, in the belly for our blood dinner stuff. And took medicine, took our um, two tablets of estradiol and uh, one tablet of spironolactone, um, which uh, were Clear streaming, uh, physical changes that, yeah, so physical, emotional, social. Physical changes, uh, we noticed our, our leg hair hasn't grown back really as much. And our skin is getting softer still. That's uh, not too much on that area. Um, We're not angry all the time. And we don't want to be fighting with people. We get upset, but we let it roll. Now maybe this is not... Uh, maybe this is not the hormones, but maybe the whole process um, changing. Anyway, um, oh, we got some, uh, we got our, we got our N1 uh, basketball shoes on today. Um, we were thinking about actually going out to somewhere and uh, just kind of bouncing the ball, bouncing the ball. Um, been so long since we've actually jumped or ran. It's nerve-wracking to try that. And it's a process. It's been, we've been walking and that's been great, helpful. You can see our physique. Here's a, um, softer. And this is, we do notice like little tiny bits of fat redistribution, but not much. And uh, it's cool. So that's physical. Emotional, um, yeah, like we said, we don't get angry as much. Um, like our, one of our favorite musicians, Andy DeFranco, says, uh, I'm not angry anymore. And um, so over Thanksgiving, uh, the holiday that we have in the U.S., or Indigenous uh, Remembrance Day, uh, whatever you want to call it. We um, we 
sent an email to one of our stepsisters. Um, and we said a lot of hurtful things to them over the years um, because of a lot of tra traumatic events that happened in our past. And we don't talk to that side of our family, but we want to, uh, whatever time left we have, we want to, to walk in peace and uh, love and acceptance as much as we can, as much as we understand. We, just, we sent that message and told them that, and we haven't heard back from them. We don't know how everyone will respond. Um, but we don't hold any ill will anymore. Um, life is, is, a, is a, a crucible in a lot of ways. And there's always things that challenge us and we, we always don't have the wherewithal to face those things and to really handle them or to respond to them in the right manner, in a good manner. And I don't, that word, uh, right, is kind of troublesome to us, but um, the point is that we're evolving and that people evolve and people change. Some people, some people don't change and some people change for the worst. But we like to think that people are evolving to a higher spirit, a higher level of understanding and acceptance. And, um, so anyway, that's what we did. That, that was a couple days ago. Anyway, we saw that Bryn had a new video up to uh, yes, last night. We didn't get to watch it. Um, shout out to Bryn. Uh, one of the non-binary creators who really has been helpful for us. Uh, also, Ashley Adams has been huge help uh, in just helping us with our transness. Um, what's it called? Social. 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 We didn't. Social. We're, we wore. Uh, we did a lot of dress up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of at home we live alone and uh, so we don't have a huge which a lot of trans people apparently don't uh, are isolated or lonely and we're we live alone now but we don't consider ourselves lonely as much because we have a lot of friends in the area who have we've had to reconnect with um, on social media, and and this is another thing that we uh, we studied media most of our life, and one of the things about social media is it can speed up life very fast. It can make things seem like they're happening, and they are happening, right? Everything's happening all the time. Change is the only constant, right? But there's a, it's a tool. It's a tool. And you can use a tool to build, or you can use a tool to tear down. Um, like on a, a, a hammer, or, or a nail or anything <clears throat> and so we try to use uh, social media to, to find those positive creators those people that um, and positive may, may people who are <clears throat> seeking to push humanity pull humanity Toward a higher state of being, 
toward more love, less hate, um, more understanding. Um, and that's been a process. We, we, sometimes we used to rage on social media. And that rage wasn't necessarily wrong, but sometimes it would um, hit the wrong people, maybe. Something like that. Anyway, um, Jared Lanier wrote a book a few years ago, and Evgeny, um, we can't remember their last name, but they wrote some books about um, the internet and the world, the, the online world, right? And, um, which they were things that we already sort of figured out, like, you know, it's not a an unalloyed good, and you can see that um, with the billionaire, the, the whole system, the capitalist system that we live in, that, that sort of entraps all of us. Um, it's not an unalloyed good, but by the same token, it lifts a, a lot of human beings. Uh, spirits, it makes connections, it helps us to see others as not so other and so is that social? is that emotional? is that physical? we don't know um, but we also want to shout out to Lost Sue who's a Twitch streamer who helped us to understand uh, a lot about uh, two-spirit people and uh, our friend Nancy who we don't know if they watch this um, but if they do hi Nancy hi Carrie um, and our sisters um, we got to talk with our with them all this is one thing, okay, so yeah, social media, this is what we were talking about. So like, on Thanksgiving Day, we, we, we got to see our mom and our sisters and their partners at Thanksgiving, their celebration that they have every year. And that we've always, when we were in town, we would try to go to, and it was sometimes difficult to go to different places and balance all those things out. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Um, but we got to see all of them, and we wouldn't have gotten to see all of them if it wasn't for the the internet and and the phone lines before that, and all of the people who worked throughout the centuries to make all these things possible, and not to mention the healthcare workers and the scientists and the people who made it possible for us for to have surgery and to take these hormones, and so when you think about it. it we're here today because of the care that humanity has put forth to make things better. Not only for humans, but also for animals and for um, the earth in general and, the, and who have explored um, and took on challenges like that. <clears throat> So anyway, that's um, that's the update for today, and we want to just um, say thank you to everyone for watching, and we hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful um, a day filled with wonder, and that brings you some joy. Um, so take care. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.